to my people who don't feel like they have a choice. You do have a choice. And what I mean by I say that to the people who actually work in their job, I'm not telling you to quit your job. Maybe some of you guys need to find a new job. You know, I can't answer that for you. You know you, you know what your self-worth is. And I would say never to compromise that. Never to compromise your self-worth. Um, I worked in prison, so I know exactly how you feel about being stuck with negative people, you know, not feeling undervalued, feeling like you're wasting your life. Um, as time goes on, as years pass by, so I know how you felt, but the fact is you do have a choice. Don't let anybody tell you that you don't, that you need to stick it out because they might not be mentally what you're on. You get what I'm saying? So because they're not mentally what you're on or they're not mentally as strong as you, or they don't see that they have value within themselves, you know, they'll try to tell you stuff and it might seem like they're coming from a warm place or they're coming from a safe place. I get that. But there's a part of you that you have to you have to step out on faith. Anytime your job takes away your peace to where it's actually overrunning or, or I should say running over um, into your personal life where you basically can't think of anything else but work because it's all you do. And you don't really have a life outside of your job. You don't know who you are anymore. You don't know why you fell in love with your husband or your wife. You don't even, you know, like your children. And there's no reason not to like them. But you're not even taking the time to actually see them uh, develop or see them grow. That's when it's time to leave your job. I've seen videos on YouTube and they try to put the little ice cream with the little, you know, little uh, cherry on top about what are the signs in leaving a nine to five job. Here's the signs. Anytime it gets you depressed and because your mental health is everything without you, you can't function. If you're sick, you can't do the job, you know? So what, what amount of money comes in between that? You get what I'm saying? This, this is 2019 It's going to be 2020, 21, so on and so forth. Opportunities are getting more advanced and they're getting more widespread. This is the age of freelance. This is the age of entrepreneurship. Yes, it's a scary environment, but this environment as an entrepreneur or anything that actually makes you happy or value is better for the economy anyway. Let me ask you guys a question. How many of you have ever been to like a Macy's, JCPenney's, a McDonald's, wherever you went and you dealt with the nastiest person that was at the window getting paid for what they do, but they just had the wickedest attitude? I'm pretty sure some of you guys experienced that. Like, yo, you're getting paid to do this. At least fake the funk for like eight hours, you know. You know, especially people coming in off the street, you don't know what they're holding on to in their heart, what they got off their, you know, what they're trying to get off their chest. So they're just coming into a store to just not think about certain things, you know. So those are the type of people who hate their job, but they continue to stay because they let money overrule them. And it's not even a lot of money, guys. If you sit back and think about... Your, your, your expenses on a monthly basis you can make that happen you know you can make that happen people say oh oh they used to tell me all the time yeah but you know you're gonna leave all these good benefits listen i'll pay for my own that's how real it is but that's how it really got for me like i will pay for my own benefits but you're not going to tell me because in my type of environment i worked in prison for nine years i couldn't even go forth to do the 10 because it just got that out of control and they would tell me your benefits and all that other stuff and just hang little stuff around my neck to think that that's going to cause me to stay. If it's taken away from your peace, it's time to go. If you don't even know who you are, it got to the point where for me, I didn't even know what I like to do as a hobby. You know, people would tell me, hey, you know, you got a little dry humor. You're kind of funny. I didn't believe them because I didn't know who I was. I would say things just so dry. So I just like, it's almost like they were sucking out my soul slowly but surely. And you have people that are so fearful that will, will talk you into staying when you know that in your heart, that even though it might not make sense to the natural eye, but the people in the natural thinking and the natural realm never did anything for nobody in society. You see all these planes, that's called faith. You see the car, that's called faith. Everything unseen that became seen happened to somebody who had an inner eye, an inner vision, and stepped out on it, regardless of what the naysayer said. So anybody that tells you, oh, you got good benefits, you know, I, I mean, it, it, part of that is true. But if you know you and you know your ambition and you know your drive, you know your motivation, you know you have this I don't give a damn attitude, I will get it, you know, 
I don't really think you have much to worry about. And if you can just focus on your focus, you get what I'm saying? And a lot of times, a lot of things we can't do. We don't know what to do because we are so distracted and mainly because of our nine to five jobs. So that's really all there is in a sense when it comes to when is the time to leave a nine to five job? Guys, I had jobs. I had this job as far as this prison job that I work where they told us we couldn't even bring books. And if you bought a book in a newspaper, we were bound to be suspended without pay because they told us to. It had nothing to do with the inmate escaping, but the fact that, that they had that type of power and authority because they were paying us. So while you got there, when you got when you did get there, even though inmates do try you and they try to talk to you and they're coming out of a criminal mindset because they've been locked up in prison. So it's like, how much could they really think about in a deep sense? So you're not there to socialize. You can't really socialize with anybody but the inmates. And that's a that's kind of a negative thing. You rarely need an inmate that's actually on some positivity stuff because they've been locked in the box for so long. Um, you can't read. So you can't even elevate your mind to know that you're in prison and... Instead of me thinking that I'm in prison, let me escape where I'm at to actually think about something positive, something that's going to reassure me, something that can probably get me out of here. It's just, that's that's the type of control. That's the type of control my job had. So imagine how that came across. If you were sitting at the table with your wife, your husband, and you told your wife or your husband that you ain't getting paid for about 30 days because you bought in a book. And these are the type of people, because it was an easy post, it was an easy job because the jail really ran itself. They stayed because it was easy. They stayed because of the benefits, but they were getting bigger. They were getting unhealthy. And the average lifespan for, for, for an officer who retired as a CEO, as far as their lifespan after they retired was five years, three to five years. Let me say, no. So you're going to tell me I give 25 years of my life. And then die five years later. Didn't even really have a chance to really enjoy the life outside of being a CEO. That's not happening. That wasn't going to happen for me. Nor do I want to come into an environment where everybody's constantly complaining about a job that they refuse to change. I don't mind complaints. But when you're complaining and you have no solution about how to get up out of your situation, that's when it comes a toxic environment. That's when it's a negative. That's when you have negative thinking. And so those type of people are in delusion. Guys, there's people that was committing suicide because how stressful the job is and how much control that a system has on an individual just because they're paying you. There's a saying, and I believe LL Cool J said it, and I can't even think about the song that he said it in, but he said something so interesting. He said, man made money, money never made the man. And that was, and I thought about it. And as I got older, I understood what that meant. That means if you can go out and get a job, you can go out and get another job. If you can go out and you know, start a career in one thing. You can also be an entrepreneur. You are the value. You are the self-worth. Without you, I don't care about any of this technology. Without the human being who is the master of all creation on earth, outside of God, you're it. You're the key to everything. You're the key to your environment. You're the key to your financial wealth. You're the key to your mental health. But there's some things you got to put put some work in. So that's my take on it, guys. Because I was just so tired. Of, I had just had to make this video because I was just so tired of people telling me that they don't have options. And this is all there is to life. No, there's not. There's absolutely more. So much more to life if you just step outside. Some people are so inside that they don't even realize that there's an outside life. Don't get trapped in easy, guys. That's another thing I just want to say before I end this video. Don't get trapped in because you got you got a job that's easy, but they control your inside life as well as your outside life. You know, for me, it was I couldn't work another job, even if they control the overtime at my job that I had on a, on a full time basis. So they could they control when they wanted to give us overtime. They control because they'll hire more people to slow that overtime down. And then you'll be living off of your paycheck to paycheck because you really don't get paid much anyway. So they control all of that. And I just want to control over my own life. I've been working since since I was 14. Actually, before I was 14, because I would do outside jobs because I was a minor. And illegal age really wasn't, wasn't I wasn't in legal age to work yet. So I've been working for a long time, guys. I'm tired of being that nine to five slave.
and I hope and I hope this helps somebody. I hope you found value with it. Like it, share the video. Somebody you know might might need to hear that. And I'll see you guys in the next video because you are worth it. And I'll see you soon.